popular high school senior at Ram High School was killed this morning in that crash. Police say 18-year-old Garrett Campen was on his way to school when he hit slick, wet roads and his car hit a tree. That school and the class all to know all too much about grief tonight. News 8's Bob Wilson is live in Hebron tonight with more. Bob? Yeah, her at Ram High School where he went, and it's dark right now, and it has been a dark mood on the inside all day long. Tonight, superintendent, principal, and uh, school board members have been meeting inside to decide what to do, how they can make his memory live on in the wake of this horrible accident. They made an announcement to the teachers to have them check their emails, and um, when my teacher checked his email, he told us what happened. and. You know, a lot of the kids who knew him were, you know, obviously devastated by the whole thing. Many students, as soon as they heard the news, left school and brought flowers, a soccer jersey, and an American flag to lay at the foot of the scarred tree where 18-year-old Garrett Campen lost his life. The car tells the story of the horrific impact, the collision that killed a high school senior almost immediately. My daughter said it was just, like, silent, really. Everybody's in shock, you know. So, yeah. She, I had to pick her up because she was so upset. You just walk out after everyone heard the news and everyone was just sad and everyone was, you know, upset and they were all hugging each other for, there for each other and there for support. Police say it's all under investigation right now. They are looking at the roads. They say they were slippery at that hour. They're also going to see if speed is a factor. The car was wedged between two trees and some witnesses, bystanders, came by and tried to perform CPR. And that made it difficult because the trees were in the way. She said he was a great kid and friends with everybody, and she's, she's really upset about it, really, as everybody is. The school is planning a vigil for Garrett Campen and will have grief counselors on hand tomorrow for students as they return to class. Parents will also be talking to their teens tonight, trying to ease their pain. It's just horrible. I, I feel so bad for the family and all the students. It's, it's, they've had to deal with way too much this year, so and my heart really goes out to them. And when you come around that section of road, it is a sharp turn to the left. There's also a uh, dip involved in that, and the speed limit is 45 miles an hour. The trees very close to that road. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Hebron, News 8. Now, the other crash that killed a high school student in Hebron happened in August. Incoming senior Paige Houston was a passenger in the car that crashed on West Street. The 17-year-old was not wearing a seatbelt and was ejected. Police say the teen driver had been drinking at a party. The man who owns the property where that party took place, as well as the driver, faced charges in connection with that crash.